A new discovery explains why Uranus and Neptune are different colors. Gemini Observatory and other telescope observations show that Uranus is paler than Neptune due to excessive haze. Astronomers may now understand why the similar planets Uranus and Neptune have different colors. Using data from the Gemini North Telescope, the NASA Infrared Telescope Facility, and the Hubble Space Telescope, researchers built a single atmospheric model that matches observations of both planets. The model reveals that excess haze on Uranus accumulates in the planet's stagnant, sluggish atmosphere, giving it a lighter hue than Neptune. Neptune and Uranus share many similarities, including similar masses, sizes, and atmospheric compositions, but their appearances are noticeably different. At visible wavelengths, Neptune is clearly bluer than Uranus, which is a pale shade of cyan. Astronomers now understand why the two planets are different colors. According to new research, a layer of concentrated haze that exists on both planets is thicker on Uranus than on Neptune and, whitens, Uranus's appearance more than Neptune's. If there was no haze in Neptune's and Uranus's atmospheres, they would appear almost identically blue. This conclusion comes from a model that an international team led by Patrick Irwin, professor of planetary physics at Oxford University, developed to describe aerosol layers in the atmospheres of Neptune and Uranus. 4. Previous investigations of these planets' upper atmospheres had focused on the appearance of the atmosphere at only specific wavelengths. However, this new model, consisting of multiple atmospheric layers, matches observations from both planets across a wide range of wavelengths. The new model also includes haze particles within deeper layers that had previously been thought to contain only clouds of methane and hydrogen sulfide ices. This is the first model to fit observations of reflected sunlight from ultraviolet to near-infrared wavelengths simultaneously, said Irwin, the lead author of a paper presenting this result in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets. It's also the first to explain the visible color difference between Uranus and Neptune. The team's model consists of three layers of aerosols at different heights. 5. The middle layer, which is a layer of haze particles, referred to in the paper as the aerosol 2 layer, that is thicker on Uranus than on Neptune, is the key layer that affects the colors. The team believes that methane ice condenses onto the particles in this layer on both planets, pulling the particles deeper into the atmosphere in a shower of methane snow. The team believes Neptune's atmosphere is more efficient at churning up methane particles into the haze layer and producing this snow because it has a more active, turbulent atmosphere than Uranus. This removes more haze and keeps Neptune's haze layer thinner than it is on Uranus, making Neptune's blue color appear stronger. We hope that developing this model would help us understand clouds and hazes in the atmospheres of ice giants, said Mike Wong, an astronomer at the University of California, Berkeley and a member of the research team. Explaining the color difference between Uranus and Neptune was a pleasant surprise. The NIFS instrument on Gemini North played a critical role in this result because it can provide spectra, measurements of how bright an object is at different wavelengths, for every point in its field of view. This provided the team with detailed measurements of how reflective the atmospheres of both planets are across the entire disk of the planet as well as across a range of near-infrared wavelengths. The Gemini observatories continue to provide new insights into the nature of our planetary neighbors, said Martin Still, National Science Foundation Gemini Program Officer. Gemini North provided a component within a suite of ground and space-based facilities critical to the detection and characterization of atmospheric hazes in this experiment. The model also helps to explain the dark spots that can be seen on Neptune but are less common on Uranus. While astronomers were aware of the presence of dark spots in both planets' atmospheres, they didn't know which aerosol layer was causing these dark spots or why the aerosols at those layers were less reflective. The team's research answers these questions by demonstrating that darkening the deepest layer of their model produces dark spots similar to those seen on Neptune and possibly Uranus. Thank you very much for watching the video, my dear. Please subscribe by clicking the button below.